In this video, we're going to look at a few examples within the Delta Math online system for the problem set vertical adjacent complementary angles algebraic. And for my students, I'm going to want you to write an algebraic equation based on the relationship. So here are the two angles. We know that that's a linear pair. And we know that all linear pairs are supplementary, which means they add up to 180 degrees. So to write the algebraic equation, it's simply going to be 2p plus 5 plus 3p equals 180 degrees. And we're going to combine like terms. So we're going to get 5p plus 5 equals 180. We're going to subtract 5 from both sides to isolate the p by itself, but we have 5p equals 175. We know we want 1p, so we're going to divide both sides by 5. Divide by 5, and so we end up getting p equals 35. So then in the delta mass online system, after we've shown all our work and we got the answer, all we have to do is type in the number. See how it's p equals already? So all you have to do is type in 35 and submit See if you're correct. And we got the green check mark, so we're good on this one. If you made a mistake, it always shows you uh, the process for how to, to get the answer within Delta Math. Here's our next example. This time we have two angles uh, that make up the right angle here, right? We have a right angle, and these two angles are within it. So the angle addition postulate tells us we can add these up to equal to 90, or we can also think of these as they are complementary angles, two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So let's write the algebraic equation, 9w minus 5, that's this angle here, plus the 32, that's this angle here, has to equal the total, which is 90 degrees, which is that right angle right here. All right angles are 90 degrees. Now we're going to combine like terms, so we get 9w plus 27 equals 90. Now we want to isolate the W, so we're going to remove that 27 by adding the opposite, which is negative 27, or some of you think of it as subtract 27 from both sides. So then we get 9W equals 63, and now we're going to divide both sides by 9 because we want 1W. We know 9 over 9 becomes a 1 on the left side, so we get W equals 7. All right, so now let's... Enter that in. Again, we just have to type the number is all it needs. You don't have to write W equals. It already has it. So just put 7, submit, and we got that one right. Let's look at one more example. So this time, we're given vertical angles, right? And we know that vertical angles are congruent, which means their measures are the same. So when we write the algebraic equation this time, it's going to be 6n minus 4 equals 5n plus plus 7. So it's all about the relationship between the angles and how we write the algebraic equation. So let's move the number to the right side. So we're going to add 4 to both sides. And then I want the variable n on the left. So let's move that 5n by subtracting 5n from both sides. Okay. If you want to do those one step at a time, you can. I'm um, just doing both steps. So then what we get is 1n on the left equals 7 plus 4 is 11. So n equals 11. So we can 